about um, the kangaroo, so it helps me stay on the right track and I'm always keep pushing forward. And uh, Baramundi stands for um, healing um, spiritually and my backbone, or the crocodile skin, represents the strength. So the um, project gave me a chance to show um, who I am and who my family are. And, all, all of my totems and just showing that I'm a strong young little man and starting from our ideas and coming together to create our final design. The skirt represents the new skin and new generation of the couple of women. We created the Moabins. To represent baby snakes. And to represent how the snakes move. Boom. The bubble wrap for the scales that we've cut was spray paint to represent the old snake skin to make way for the new. We used the face paint on our model to represent the scales of the snake.
Okay, the makeup was on my face represented the sky, the sunset, and the lower part represented the water waves. Yeah. My favorite part of the wearable arts project was um, making the zip ties for the water. The different colors represent um, the water going from the ocean to the rivers. My favorite thing was learning to weave fish and the Donnelly Island stars. I also enjoyed the elders Arnie Bernadette, Arnie Beth, and Auntie Patty sharing their story. <laughs> Um, I'm Charlie Duke and I'm a teacher at Charter South State High School. Um, I am an Indigenous woman of the Kamilaroi people of North West New South Wales. Well, the wearable art project's been driven by the students, so I think that's just really an amazing thing to see and like see the older students um, take that leadership opportunity and help out the younger, like year seven and eight kids get involved. And then the, even the year seven and eight kids have taken on like leadership roles and designating different um, like activities for students to do. So I think that's been a really amazing thing and like seeing a lot of students shine in different ways that they usually uh, do. My idea with Gundaloo the emu is that we use that as our image and that's um, part of that's part of ownership and part of place and where we are in this community um, and that being the totem of the Charters Tales people, the, the emu, um, so that the students can get it, take ownership over it and um, really make it their own. I think it's, it's definitely given me a, a better understanding of culture and and how we go about talking to people from different cultures. And for me, not having much in the way of this similar cultural background in that way, it's, it's really opened up my eyes on about how I can incorporate this into the classroom and how I can teach it and really get feel more confident about talking about it. And that's the biggest thing for me, I think. And on the day when we have the unveiling um, in Townsville, I think it's gonna be the highlight of what it is. And they are gonna actually see how this all fits in together and, and find out how well they've worked together as well as a group.